All right, we're back with you. I want to turn and take a look at our crude oil market first this time. And let's go uh, take a look at this big board here. And right now, it is higher by a dollar and eleven cents. We're trading on July at seventy-two eighty-five per barrel. Well, that's about twelve cents from our high of the daytime trade and the overnight trade. So. Uh, a little push upward here in the energy markets this morning. Uh, in fact, we had some new ethanol production numbers that just came out, and, and we did improve on the uh, ethanol production up to 1.036 million barrels this week. That's up about 32,000 barrels a day from what we had last week. Wanted to look at the uh, uh, dollar index value today as well while we have a chance here. And well, on the dollar index, we're down 209 points at 103.885. So that could could play a role. But when we look at the corn market here on our ag quotes, it is just so odd because we have July trading all by itself higher. We're up three quarters at 608 and three quarters. But all the other months, well, now July just went unchanged. I guess I scared it. Uh, September down seven, December down eight at 533 per bushel. That's nine cents off our overnight high. Now, in soybeans today, you have the nearby July gaining eight and a quarter cents. We're at 1361 and a half. But November going down one and three quarters. So there's a dime disparity there. November down to 1183 per bushel right now. So that's about a nickel off of its earlier high. Well, in the wheat, <clears throat> whole different story. July Chicago wheat down six at 621 and three quarters. Kansas City wheat today. Just getting attacked. We have July down 20 and three quarters at 7.99 and a half. They forced it down below eight dollars today. And Minneapolis has July down 11 and a quarter at 8.05 and a quarter. And in the cotton market today, uh, let's go with that July. It's down 19 points at 85.15. And December down 38 points at 81.40. We have Todd Bubba Horwitz with us. He is with BubbaTrading.com, and he's in Las Vegas. Uh, all right, Todd, the markets seem tired on the grains today, and uh, I guess on the wheat, they don't even seem tired. They just completely rolled out of bed. What's going on here? I mean, mar mar markets are very lethargic. There's not much action going on. There's not any volume. And, of course, with a, a, weakening, a weakening economy and with us buying wheat from Poland and other places, I mean, you know, it, it it does appear, though, on the bright side of the coin, it does appear that the, uh, the corn, wheat, and beans have all found a bottom. Now, that doesn't mean we're going straight up from here, but it does appear the uh, recent action indicates or suggests that the bottom may be in. So that that would be the only thing I could put good news on, but it's, it is so quiet and so slow from a trading standpoint that there's no real activity, which makes it harder to believe that we're going to get some new, fresh new money in there that's going to push these higher. But if you're talking about, for example, corn, are you talking about maybe near a bottom on the nearbys or the new crop, or does it matter? Well, I mean, it, it matters a little bit right now because of the, of the burdens, but we know that typically the grain markets are always in backwardation un, until we get closer, and then and then the, the backs start to rally and overcome and, and turn it back into contango. So I think that what we could expect right now is that there's so little trade that you have funds trying to push these prices down. I mean, it's my opinion that the funds are trying to force the banks to force liquidation at these prices and, and, and even puke them out farther. So I think that, uh, but overall, I think we have seen, you know, the lows and it, it'll take its point off the, off the active month, no matter what, we, no matter what happens at the end, the, the, the signal will come from the front month from the, the, the as they call it, top step. Very interesting stuff. All right. Well, Todd, thank you for taking some time out of your busy day to talk with us a little bit uh, about our grain sector here. Uh, fascinating stuff, the way it's acting. I appreciate that. Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com. He's in Las Vegas. We'll be back in a moment. We'll take a look at our livestock industry next. <laughs> 